Hey everybody, this is Brian from Primo Chill. Going to do a quick little video today on bending acrylic tube. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, a heat gun here, some gloves, a couple round objects for getting a nice bend in the tube, uh, a silicone, um, basically a silicone tube, a solid one. This is great because it's going to give us a perfect fill for the tube. As you can see on the end here, there's no gap whatsoever on this tube. So when we go to bend it, there's not going to be any flat spots, um, any kinks in the tube. It's going to pretty much come out perfect. So um, I have some sandpaper and some olive oil. The sandpaper essentially is for the silicone. Now. Unfortunately, we don't manufacture these acrylic tubes in-house. We have a, a company we contracted with that gives us all these great colors. Um, unfortunately, the inner diameter of some of these may be a little bit larger or a little bit smaller. So, if you get uh, you know this silicone tube, this silicone tube from us, and you notice that hey, this isn't going to fit in there. We're just uh, recommending just to take the sandpaper, run it through here a few times, make sure it fits nice and snug, and you should be good to go. You'll notice that this kind of presses in a little hard here. It's not very, it uh, doesn't go in super easy. What we also have is a little bit of olive oil that we can put on the end of this silicone. As you can see here, I'm just dipping and wetting this silicone here, and then See how easy and gentle it slides right through. Uh, olive oil is great because it cleans up easy, it doesn't burn, um, and it's pretty much perfect for what we need. So let me go ahead and clear some of this other stuff away. Move over the heat gun, excuse the noise of the heat gun, but uh, we kind of need to heat up the acrylic. So the real key with uh, bending this tube is to actually get the acrylic itself pretty much to an almost molten state. Um, as you can see, the acrylic itself right now, when I go to bend it, it's pretty much rigid. So, you know, I'm not able to bend it, uh, you know, even with a little bit of heat. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just kinda hold this over the heat gun, rotate it, I can use my silicone here to rotate it, and kinda like maybe cooking some s'mores over a nice little campfire for those uh, people that like to do that. Uh, as you'll notice, I'm moving it back and forth. I don't want to hold it in one spot uh, to where the acry acrylic will actually start to bubble up because it's getting too hot. Um, I'll have it at one end for a little while and then I can travel down the acrylic tube itself. Very simple, very straightforward. You know, this will probably take, uh, I'd say a minute to two minutes to really get this acrylic nice and soft and, and pliable and, and, and get a nice bend on it. Um, as you can see where I've, I've put the heat, you can see that I can start getting a little bit of a bend there, um, but nowhere near as soft as I, I need the, uh, the acrylic to be to get a good nice bend. So I'm gonna continue to heat this. I'm not necessarily heating up this end, of the acrylic because I'm not going to put a bend in this. I want this to be nice and straight so I can have a, you know, a nice U shape at the end. And then I can trim my uh, acrylic down after the fact. So you'll kind of see that it's getting a little softer there for us. Still not as soft as I'd like it to be. Again, we want to get the, the acrylic to a molten state. We don't really want to, uh, you know, completely melt the acrylic uh, to where it's liquefied, but we want to get it to a nice soft molten state. And you can see how easy that's bending now. So I'll give it a, you know, a few more seconds to where I can really feel that acrylic starting to be nice and loose. And as we get that acrylic nice and loose, it's going to give us perfect opportunity to wrap it around something. And, you know, I have this copper slug right here. Uh, that I'm going to wrap this first one around to show you, you know, how simple it is to get that nice turn. So as you can see, this is now a flexible piece of acrylic 
no flattening, no bubbling. And essentially I can take my slug just like this, see if I can do this, and I can bend it essentially right around my slug, just like that. Put it right up there. And I'm done with that. Put this here and you'll see that there's no flattening. There's nothing, uh, you know, flattening going on there. After I have my shape, I can hold this. I can flex a little bit more. I can get it right to the shape I want. Um, and we cool them down with fans. Some people say to stick, stick them in a bucket of water. Uh, I think it shocks the acrylic too quick. Um, I think air cooling, uh, you know, the part down is gonna be best. And uh, like I said, I would bring a fan in here, but uh, I really don't wanna have all that noise to, to really cool this part down. So as you can see, this side's real rigid still. This side's becoming rigid, and it's almost a perfect uh, you know, angle. If I wanna adjust it just a tiny bit, I can, and hold it so I can get my perfect angle. Again, this isn't gonna be perfect. This is just kind of for an illustration to show you guys how uh, you know, we're getting these cool little bends on here. So once it gets to a point of cooling, you know, you could also tack this down here if you wanted to, to hold that sharp radius until it completely cools. Um, but for, you know, the purpose of this video, we're just trying to show you guys how we're doing it. So now, this is pretty firm now. We, uh, you know, with the, with the gloves here, there's not a lot of heat coming out. The great thing about this silicone is it's not gonna stick. The heat from it, uh, you know, it's not gonna dismember this, uh, this rod whatsoever. So now with it being done, we can just simply pull that rod out and we have a pretty killer purple curved heated solid acrylic. So again, this is just a bending video. This shows you uh, a pretty cool way how to get this to bend. And we will have another video once we release the acrylic. Um, all the acrylic tube that we'll carry as well as the acrylic, uh, the new fittings we have for these. So it's a pretty exciting little project that we have going on. Uh, feel free to check us out on Facebook. We're gonna have some more how-to videos, uh, how we're getting all these cool things, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much.